Good morning, day 48, I think it is, and it's March 1st, and it's Saturday. There's so much going for today. <laughs> um, let's see, yeah, March 1st is day 48. Um, I just gave hubby his yogurt. It's 11 o'clock, so it's a little bit earlier than our normal Saturdays. Um, I'm heating up his waffles now, um, and I'll, I'll probably get him some raisins for his smart carb. Um, I'm gonna try the egg and turkey sausage roll. I don't think I've tried this one yet. I got it and I, I haven't tried it. I've tried the other frozen sandwiches. Um, I really wanna get to Barnes and Noble so that I can pick up my copy of Nail It magazine because I really wanna see my stupid little fingers in the magazine. Um, a couple people have posted now that they saw my my manicure in there. So I want to go pick it up and my Walgreens has not been very cooperative. Um, <clears throat> they keep telling me, oh yeah, the magazine person will come tomorrow and tomorrow the next day. No, so I'm just gonna go where I know it is and that is Barnes and Noble. Um, of course, either today or tomorrow, we're gonna go shopping again for more produce. Um, I'll probably just buy regular, um, did you see me jump? <laughs> the toaster popped and I jumped. Um, regular romaine lettuce, a little bit more broccoli. Um, I still have enough carrots, but that, like I'm telling you, that salad, it's really filling with the romaine and the broccoli and the carrots. So I'm gonna make some coffee because I woke up with a headache. Um, and I will be back around morning snack time. I'll probably have a shake because I haven't had a shake in a while. Um, but yeah, see you in a bit. Guys. I have the best husband ever. <clears throat> I was washing dishes and he was just walking by. I asked him to look around the house just for any random cups or silverware or whatever. He walks by and he's just like, you're so pretty. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> he's like, yeah, just the way your hair falls around your face. And blah. Oh my gosh, he's so sweet. Guys, if you have wives or girlfriends, just tell her that she's pretty. I'm sure you think she does because you wouldn't be with them, right? I mean, just compliment her. It makes her feel good because I don't have any makeup on right now. I have splotches. It's kind of dark in the house right now so you can't see, but um, he doesn't care and he's just really awesome. So I have my, um, I was washing dishes while I let this cool, but I have my, um, it's sticking to my paper towel. My, what did I, it's a turkey, sausage, and egg, what, something? Mm-mm. It's not bad. Um, you see that in here? Tastes okay. So I'm gonna have a cherry yogurt, and um, I'm gonna give hubby his raisins, and I'm gonna drink some coffee, so I will see you guys later. Bye. I really do have a good husband. <laughs> he um he had to go to the vape shop, I guess, to get more juice. And um, he was like, hey, do you have a small grocery list? Because I'm going to the vape shop and the store's right across the street. I'm like, yes, yes, I do. <laughs> um, so he went to the store. He left like 10 minutes ago. Um, I'm doing bloggy things, doing my nails. I filed down my nails yesterday because... They were starting to get a little long and when that happens they tend to tear and break and I'm like oh no I am on a good streak with like same length nails and all this stuff um, so I'm swatching more of my uh, share the love giveaway prizes um, I'm doing a couple of simple nail art things with some stickers to review I have to do some more nail nation polish stuff I got some more in the mail um, both for the March polishes, because I'm her March blogger, and also some stuff that I bought. And what else? Oh my gosh, I'm just doing so much, but I like the weekends because it gives me the time to catch up and to create more posts. And if all things go well with the house and we close on April 4th, I'm going to have to have posts scheduled for like that entire week because I'm not gonna have time because I'll be moving. So yeah, let me get back to it. Um, I'm gonna mix up my shake because it is 132 um, 
and I will see you guys later. So hubby's back from grocery shopping and look what was in the mail! Yay! Nutra Bears, 10 pounds and 20 pounds. And that just means this is working. Like, I'm so proud of him. Aren't you happy? Hey, look. They're hugging. Aww. <laughs> All right, so um, got to put away the groceries. I think Hubby did a really good job. I don't see anything in here that's not good. You he asked used... for uh, two romaine lettuces, mm -hmm. so I got just one really big one. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, because I have um, burgers and chicken sandwiches for lunch. I want to put lettuce and tomato on. Okay. And I so. got you two really good uh, vine ribs. Nice. See, he cares. He's so good. He's such a good husband. All right, got to put groceries away, got to finish bloggy things, and hubby needs to eat his morning snack. So, see you guys later. For salads, for burgers and chicken sandwiches, look how beautiful. All right, hubby's going to do this for lunch, and because I have all these fresh veggies now, I'm going to try the hamburger while I'm at home. Um, it's kind of small. It's like that that big around. Um, but like I said, I have fresh tomatoes, fresh lettuce. I'm going to add a little bit of mayo and a little bit of ketchup to it. Um, and then I'll still probably make myself a salad with some of this lettuce, broccoli, and carrots. So I will be back when the food is done. You guys, this is so adorable. <laughs> this burger. These tomato slices are perfect for this burger. Look, look at that. And really, I didn't put that much uh, ketchup or mayonnaise on it. It's literally like just a little bit of smear. Where'd you get the bread? Whoops. The bread came with it. These really? lunches, uh-huh. It's not like the dinners. The lunches, the frozen ones, it comes with the roll and everything together. You have a fork. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna eat, I'll let you know how it is. I'm pretty sure it's good, but it's a little messy. So I'll just, I'll let you know when I come back. So, so burger's really good. Um, when you add like the veggies to it, it kind of fills you up a little bit more. That's what it looks like. Um, it's really good. So I'm like almost done with my salad halfway through, but um, I'm gonna finish this and I will see you guys later. My face looks chubby, oh my god. Um, dinner time, I'm having risotto and I'm gonna mix in a crap ton of spinach in with it. Hubby hasn't picked out his dinner yet. What are we doing for dinner, Hubby? Um... Is that your last Salisbury steak? Yeah. Okay. Can you get the corn out too? Great. Well, I don't know if I should eat so much corn. <sighs> well, it's part of your diet, so. And it's only a half a cup a day. You know what's funny, though? What? Like, before, like, over the years, I have cut down on the amount of um, salt I have intake. Mm -hmm. Eating. In. There we go. Um, but during this diet, I don't put salt on any of my vegetables. Yeah, and I don't. One day you put a little bit on it, and I was like, "Isn't? Did you put salt on this? It's really salty." <laughs> yeah. And you're like, "Well, yeah, because I thought you said you didn't like that one." But it wasn't that. It was so much. The, the peas were different, so it takes me a little while to get used to the new flavor. Yeah. So I'm gonna eat dinner, heat up dinner. I'll come back with a couple of food shots. It is 7:30, almost 7:30 now. So that's why we're eating dinner. 7:30, almost 7:30 now. Um. Thanks for making. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I've got a lot more bloggy things to do. Hubby's been playing his game, so we've been pretty chill the whole day. But what? Okay, we'll come back later. Oh. Bye. What? What? Oh, you're gonna do reflection section today? Well, yeah, I'll do it today because Ooh. I got the new thing for my. Um, Vape? Yep. Okay, gotta go. My arm's getting tired. Bye. Okay, 
Alright guys, we're doing a reflection section in the hubby's room today because we are. <laughs> I'm having orange cream bar for dessert and he's having pound cake for dessert. And there was a question on our thing yesterday, T. Mm, somebody... Let's see... Um, well, Jen asked, how did Nature System end up sponsoring you? Um, I actually asked about their blogger program um, for TJ initially, and they said that they were starting up with a new program, the, you know, the My Way program in January, and what's wrong? What? Oh, nothing. Oh. No. And um, they just wrote back to me and said, hey, yeah, we'll sponsor you. But I have, you know, I, I gave them my blog link and all of that stuff. And originally I wasn't going to do this video thing, but I figured it would be nice for you guys to see, you know, all the different foods and whatever. So, yeah. Um, and then, mm -hmm. oh, shoot. Christy says, hey guys, no way at Bismarcky. I was born in Georgetown, so I know the DMV well. Small world. Hubby was also born in Georgetown. Represent? <laughs> Georgetown University Hospital. Um, she's like, I need some advice. Our Nutrisystem food arrived a few days ago on the same day that I had two teeth extracted. Ah, yeah. Huh. Small world. Been there. Um, I thought I was fine. Fast Five started. Super energy. And today I just felt exhausted. My stomach feels super empty on this now. Second day of the Fast Five. I'm not sure if it's not enough food or if my body is catching up to the trauma of the dental work. Did either you or TJ feel tired, nauseous, or hungry on the Fast Five? Um, love your hair down. Swag. Toodles. All right, I'm going to answer this one first and foremost because okay. in September, um, two days before we went on our anniversary, our second one, uh, I had to have two teeth pulled as well. Um, and one of them was actually pretty bad. It had broken in half um, and there was an exposed nerve. Long story short, my teeth get little pinhole cavities and they burrow in and all of a sudden, surprise, tooth is breaking in half. Um, so anyways, I had them extracted after a weekend of hell and pain because no dentists are open on the weekends. Happened on a Friday night, of course. Um, the next day I was eating and everything. I actually went right back to work after I had my teeth extracted. Um, they extracted the bottom one only because it needed a little work, like cav uh, like some fillings and stuff. But he said it had been better off because it will eventually slide up anyways because nothing's pushing down on it. So... After about a week of having my teeth pulled, I started to get the nauseous feeling too. It's really not your body acclimating to it so much as your stomach acclimating to some of the trauma that happened in your mouth. I know it sounds dumb. It's all connected. Um, but I did have that nauseous feeling for maybe four or five days after the first week, meaning within the first week to through the second week, I felt sick. I don't think it's the food. I don't think it's anything. Yeah, and if you're wondering, just go back to our day one through seven vlogs because we did the Fast Five our very first week. So I know for me, because I was used to eating all day long, like snack food and junk food and stuff, I was a little bit hungry. Um, but I had the opposite effect because I didn't eat all day. I rarely ate breakfast. I would say I never ate breakfast. You never ate breakfast. Unless I woke up late in the day and it was lunch. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> and um, then the shake in the morning is freaking amazing. I wish they would just make those. The energizing? The yeah, the energizing. See, I hated so. the energizing, but I loved the craving crusher. So, yeah, it's different. No, you liked the energizing. You didn't nope. like the craving. I hated the energizing. The craving crusher was more chocolatey. I don't know. I felt I thought it was totally opposite. But anyways, nope. um how would it be opposite? You love the energizing, so I would hate the energizing. No, I'm saying the opposite effects. You liked one were opposite. Flip them. I didn't like the ones in the afternoon. 
Right. They like the ones in the morning. Right. You didn't like the ones in the morning. You liked the ones in the afternoon. Right. Opposite. Right. I'm telling oh, you that Jesus. that's what it is. Oh my God. I don't well, know what happened there. I'm we have sure, to review the tapes. I'm sure everybody here is loving this right now because yep. we haven't done this in a while. It's typically for you to be wrong and then prove me wrong later. Well, they want to see your face. No. Um. Uh, yeah. Maybe Are tomorrow. You? Nope. Tomorrow. Well, they saw your face today already. Uh -huh. Yeah, I know. My eyes are still really bagged up from a lot of work this okay. week. Um, um, anyways, that being said, give it some time. It's your mouth and body adjusting to your teeth. Um, no longer there. Also, pay attention to dry socket. Um, as I was overly aggressive about not... I'd put it this way. I drove people nuts. Hey, look at my hole. Make sure it's healing. <laughs> Not people. Everybody. <laughs> Me, because we were on our anniversary trip. Yep. But very next day, I was still eating, like, tacos and stuff like that. This is You had we tacos? Yeah, remember we had those? It was like the taco nachos at that one place where we walked to. Oh, the really nice restaurant? No, the one that was like a bar restaurant. We sat by the window in between the two doors and it reminded us of, like, uh, New Orleans or something. Oh, the Sloppy Joes? Yeah, Sloppy Joes, because I got the nacho, Sloppy Joe nacho things. Oh, yeah, we went to Key West for our anniversary trip. Did we guys ever tell you that? We weren't too impressed. I mean, it was okay. It just felt really old. The whole place felt like a slightly upscale New Orleans. <laughs> We've never been there, by the way. I mean, it was also because we're not very nighttime people either. We like to do... We're not Let me tell you. We slept in every day on our vacation. Oh, and the best part of uh, waking up, it's not full, just in the cup, was the hard rain every morning. Tin roof? On the tin roof. We played at a, uh, played, we stayed at a place called Eden House. Look it up. It was actually quite amazing. Mm -hmm. um, we got a, a whole apartment to ourselves and it was on top. So like we had no one bothering us. Mm -hmm. um, Edenhouse.com, I think it is. Let me just double check that. We can also put it in the um, description below. We or me? You. <laughs> if I remember. Yeah, it's EdenHouse.com. We don't got to put it in the description. You'll remember it. E D E N H O U S E dot com. Eden House. Yeah. Eden House. And again, it was really amazing. Um, had I not had my teeth pulled right before, I think we probably would have eaten more places and mm -hmm. done more things. Yeah. But. Um, yeah, it was it was real nice. Yep. And the dentist who pulled my teeth, absolutely no pain. Like I said, I went right back to work. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Um. Um. I don't know. Is that it? Not really. Mm -hmm. Oh. Um, <laughs> Not really. I just thought I was talking too much, so I shut up oh. for a second. Um, well, anyways, if I were to say one thing different about me lately. As opposed to a month and a half ago now, right? Two uh, months? We are ending week seven tomorrow, so month and a half. Month and a half? Yeah. Wow, it's only been Almost seven two weeks. months. Um, anyways, we, um, before the diet, I was not so movable, so to speak. <laughs> I was very lazy. <laughs> <laughs> I was an immovable rock. Anyways, um, I feel a lot more energetic, um, I guess when you lose as much weight as I have, it, it does change you, and I feel more confident about myself in every day. I also, you know, look forward to eating the meals, especially after I got to pick them, because it's things that I do like. Yeah. Um, overall, just, I feel better. Like, I, like today, you know, I got up. Got dressed, went out grocery shopping, told this one she could just stay home. Mm -hmm. And she did her blog stuff. I got everything she wanted and came back. And it was because I just felt that itch that I needed to get the hell out of the house. Yeah. That's not like me. And, yeah, I just feel a lot better. So whoever out there is struggling through it right now, you know, just know that once you get down, you'll feel a million times better. The, the key to it is really to stick to the program like try not to cheat try not to have all those extras even though you're allowed like three extras there is a no day try only do and do not okay well 
don't do it. Don't do it badly. Don't do bad stuff. Only do the good stuff. And drink a lot of water. Drink water. Water, water, water. If you have to add those Mew things or whatever, do it. But <laughs> I drink ice water. Uh, what? If you're a vegan who does CrossFit, what do you tell people first? What? Because, you know, if, if you're a vegan, people are just, you know, in their conversation is, I'm vegan. You know, and then people who are CrossFit are always like, oh, I do CrossFit. So it's like, which one of those two do you oh. tell first? <laughs> Stupid memes. They're not memes, they're memes. I know! I meant it was supposed to be like meme-mes. Like, not memes, but like meme Like, if I say like thingies, okay? That's what I was trying to do at meme with an I-E-S. Memes. Memesies. <laughs> Memes. Memesies? The last Memesie? Oh my gosh. Alright, you guys. I think it's time for me to put this up on the computer for y'all. Just for the job you want. Oh my gosh. Sorry. Okay. This is... If right. I don't Completely stop Completely off topic now and Cat knows that I can just keep this going forever. Yeah, and I know you guys don't want that, right? I know you don't, because I don't. So, I'm done with my orange cream bar. He ate his cake. I'm going to throw this up on the computer, and we will Let see you. Cake. And we will see you tomorrow on day 49. No, it's not day 49. Is it day 49? Yeah, day 49. Cause I thought it was day 50. Day 49, because 7 times 7 is 49. Hot, hot. Bye, guys.